Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. We received an intense, aggressive Bigfoot encounter from an area with a long history of Bigfoot sightings, photos, and videos. Arthur writes RMSO. Hi, my name is Arthur. I'm Californian. I used to work as a ranger at the Sequoia National Park from 1994 to 1997. Before I start, I just want to say that I'm crying as I write this because the memories are extremely traumatic. It happened in 1997 in my last year working as a ranger. It was also this event that got me fired. I was patrolling an area that was not very frequented by visitors because of the density of the bushes and because it wasn't an easy area to get to and it was also easy to get lost. I had received a report of loud sounds coming from there and scaring the visitors, making them think that there was a bear on the loose or something. It was noon and I was driving around the area with the jeep and a tranquilizer rifle just in case something was really there. I spent one hour driving around and I stopped the Jeep, exited it, and was standing by the open door and I was about to pick up my walkie-talkie and report the situation to one of the other rangers that was patrolling the other side, when I heard something on my left, a loud growl. I looked and there was this big reddish-brown thing and it was wide at the shoulders, long arms, human hands, huge human hands, and looking at me. This part really breaks me every time I remember because I got paralyzed in fear at the moment because this thing was bigger than any grizzly bear and was glaring at me with a face that I can only describe as a hungry predator. I felt like an ambushed prey. I stood there and this thing charged at me with full force and I entered the jeep almost instantly. The creature crashed into the jeep breaking the door's window and the thing grunted in pain. I turned the jeep on and accelerated beyond the speed limit of the park. I looked behind me for a second and this monster was running after the jeep on all fours, just like a chimp. I panicked even more and I creased the speed and some curves later, I finally lost him. I arrived at the ranger station and there was nobody there. I remember being so panicked that I locked myself inside a bathroom and I'm certain that I fainted because I remember that everything went black. And then I woke up. It was 9 p.m. and the other rangers were looking for me. My boss confronted me about the jeep having one of the sides damaged in the broken window. And when I told him that a big animal attacked me, he got angry at me and called me a liar who sleeps on the job and accused me of crashing the jeep on a tree and making stories up to not get in trouble and fired me. I did years and years of therapy. It didn't work. The memories still haunt me and I still have nightmares and sudden panic attacks. And I know, I know the thing that tried to snatch me was a Bigfoot and not a bear. Because bears don't have human faces, human hands, and wide shoulders. And they don't have freakishly long limbs. I lived with these memories for more than 20 years. This is my first time telling this story ever since. Thank you for reading this, if you had the patience. Well, I hope you guys enjoy a look at these beautiful forests where Bigfoot inhabits. Obviously, because there's a long history of Bigfoot sightings, including recent sightings every year in these areas. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.